Affinity Publisher allows you to choose how to handle placed images and documents. Resources can be imported either as linked or embedded, and when creating a document, you can choose which method you want to use. So I'll create a new document by going to File, New. Here on the bottom right, we can change the image placement policy by selecting Prefer Linked or Prefer Embedded from the drop down menu. Linked resources are stored outside the publisher document, whereas embedded resources are stored within. An advantage of using linked resources is you can utilize collaborative workflows. It allows colleagues and other users to make changes to the image file separately, working externally to the publisher document. Using linked resources also reduces the document's overall file size. Using embedded resources stores all of your resources within your document. This increases your overall file size as the data is saved within the publisher file itself. For the moment, I'll choose to leave the drop down set to prefer linked and I'll click create. This means that all of the resources placed within this document will be placed using the linked method. This is a document here that I've been working on with a number of colleagues. And I've been told by my colleagues that the document has been set up using linked resources, but I want to check the status of the resources myself. So I'm going to access the resource manager by going to window and selecting resource manager. The resource manager gives us a detailed overview of all of the resources placed within the document. We have the resources file name, their status, the page in which the resource is situated, the placement policy, as well as the images, size, DPI, and file format. If a resource has been updated externally, the status column will display that status as modified. If the link has been broken by either moving or deleting the resource, the status will display as missing. When missing, the resource will also appear blurry on the page. This is a key indication that your resources may be missing or modified. Looking at this document, we can see that all of our images are linked, which matches our preferred placement image policy. So to show you an example of a missing image, I'm going to move out to my file browser and I'm going to interrupt the link of this image. So I'll do this by replacing the image with one that I have edited. With this particular image, I have changed the color to black and white and I've saved it under the same name. So I'll click drag this and I'll choose to replace the image. Moving back to publisher and the resource manager, we can see now that the status has been changed to modified. I can choose to update the image and accept the modification and I'll do this by selecting the image and clicking update. We can see that the image has been updated on the page and its status on the resource manager returned back to OK. Alternatively, if I go back to my file browser, we could delete the image. Moving back into Publisher and the Resource Manager once again, we can see that the image now displays the missing status. This means the link is broken and cannot be found. We can choose either to replace the image or relink it. In this case, I'm going to choose to relink the image, so I'll select the resource and click Relink. I'll then locate where that image is found and I'll choose Select Folder. And we can see by both the page and the status column that the image has been relinked. The document we've been working on, as previously stated, is set to prefer linked. However, if needed, we could always change our images to be embedded via the Resource Manager. And I can do this by selecting all of the resources in the Resource Manager by pressing Command A on Mac or Control A on Windows and simply selecting Embed. This will embed all of my images into the document. And that's how to use linked and embedded resources in Affinity Publisher. Thank you for watching.